Hello and uh, welcome to the next Lucosa PC game review video. And again, it's another one that could be something of a retro video. This is Heroes of Might and Magic 4. Uh, specifically, Heroes of Might and Magic 4 Complete, just as my uh, Heroes 3 review. This one uh, contains uh, the two expansion packs, uh, The Gathering Storm and Winds of War. Uh, this set came out in 2003, and uh, when it came out, it caused one hell of a stir. Um, it's... Uh, well, it featured an enormous amount of changes compared to not only Heroes 3 but uh, well all three of the previous uh, Heroes games uh, this game basically came along and turns pretty much everything on its head so let's get a game underway and uh, we'll do the tutorial one because it's uh, well you'll find out why now, the game is uh, a bit loud as far as the um, uh, music goes. There, there's, I'm going to have to do a fair bit of shouting to get myself heard. Now, as you can see, uh, the actual main playing map is pretty much the same as uh, any of the previous ones, but it's now 3D. Uh, 3D map, so we can, let's uh, skip past all this, playing it is, oh, for fuck's sake, it's no different to uh, any of the previous ones, once again when you come up with a treasure chest you have the choice of keep the gold for yourself or donate the gold and gain the experience points, which is what I always do. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to head into the town. As you can see, the towns are laid out very differently compared to how they are in, uh, again, any of the previous ones. Let's uh, start recruiting these uh, creatures. Now in this uh, town, I'm playing the Order faction. There are six factions. Uh, life, Death, Order, Chaos, uh, Nature, and I believe the last one's Might. Annoyingly, there wasn't a, uh, an additional faction added when the uh, expansion packs came along. At least, I don't think there were. So let's uh, build a, uh, a new building. Now, these uh, eight here are where you uh, recruit creatures. Now with uh, the um, right. with the tier one creatures, you can build both. And in this case, that's dwarves and halflings, and recruit them. But tiers two, three, and four. Once you have selected to build uh, one of them, I will be getting Magi. Now, the other option, which was the uh, Golem Factory, or Golem as I pronounce it, is now no longer available. You have to choose between one or the other, but you can't have both. And the same applies to Tier 3, and the same applies to Tier 4. And that's not just this faction, that applies to all of them. And that is one of the features that nobody liked. And believe me when I say it's one of the features nobody liked. So we can recruit the uh, six golems there. Now none of the uh, creature um, 
habitats can be upgraded. Once you've built them, that's it. There aren't any upgrades to them. Which is another thing that nobody liked. So, that's uh, the sawmill. Uh, trying to pick up the wood here. Now, this here is the uh, learning stone. So, we have 1,000 experience, and now we have uh, the chance to level up. I will go with uh, advanced enchantment and you will see that this other hero here, Rissa, has a chance to level up. That is because in my army I have two heroes, not just the one. You will also notice that they appear as uh, rearrange that. They appear as units. They don't stand to the side. That is yet another change. And also another change that nobody liked. Uh, right, what do I need? I want the... Yeah, I want to be able to recruit genies. So I need the clerical library. Where's that? Right there. Right, that's the So, you are probably already thinking that uh, as far as the changes go, the only change that anybody liked are the graphical changes. Well, yes and no. Um, right, once your wish is done. You will notice that already there are now creatures within their dwellings. Because, again, another change, although they do generate a certain number each week, that number is built up gradually over each day. So you could go back almost any time and you will have more creatures to put in your army. Some people didn't mind that change. I was not one of them. I hate it. I'm heading back to uh, uh right what do we build now? Uh treasury provides an extra ten percent gold. Right, I'll have that. Right. Now something else regarding uh, changes to the uh, town, I'm going to be saying that quite a lot. You may notice that compared to uh, Heroes 3, there's no war machines. That is because there are no war machines in the game at all, or at least technically there aren't. Um, there are no healing tents, there are no ammo carts, there aren't even any balisters. There is a, um, uh, what was this, the thing that fires the giant arrow? Uh, that may be the baluster, and I'm thinking of the uh, catapult that's not in it. But that is actually uh, considered a unit so uh, you can't um, uh, it's available in the life uh, faction I think it's the third tier so if you do get those the uh, balusters you can't get the uh, alternative to it which I think is the uh, Fuck it, I can't remember what it was. Anyway, the alternative is a lot better. Now, I've had to remove the uh, second hero because uh, I need to make room in here for my uh, genies. And you will see that uh, a hero is able to uh, move around with no creatures in their army. It's just the hero. 
In fact, it goes further than that. You can... You can move creatures around that don't have uh, any uh, heroes within that army. Which I think is a bit ridiculous. But That's telling me about the shrine that I had already visited and I've already visited that. What I want to do is go here. So I want to show you uh, combat. I don't think I can build anything. No, I don't think I can. Right, now this is another mage tower, but this tower is guarded. Okay, well, we'll... Yeah, I thought the uh, orcs would run away. Now we use this hero to go around and try and claim resources and stuff. Because I am running low. Particularly of lows. Can I build anything? Yes, I can. Institute of Magic Level 3. Okay, we'll build you. Right. Now, we have to guard the mages that are, or the magi who are guarding this tower. So here we go with combat. Straight away you will see things are very different. Now, here is the hero who is on the uh, battlefield all the time. Now you can, uh, whoops, I selected pause, oh well. Range units uh, work the same, in fact, in general the battle works the same as uh, before. But because of its uh, new angle, it's not easy to be able to spot where to actually move your uh, army to. That was ridiculously easy though, so I didn't actually have any trouble with it. Right, which one do I want to go with? I'll go with Life Magic. No, I won't because I can't afford either of them. I think I might have fucked up a bit here and uh, not built the right uh, artifacts or uh, buildings within uh, the uh, town. Mind you, I think the yeah, city hall has been fully upgraded. Uh, right, so I'm going to do the Necromantic Library, which will teach the, uh, some death magic spells or increase the uh, all the magic uh, spells available to me from the Institute of uh, Magic Level 4. But it's only going to cost a thousand, whereas that's going to cost two and a half thousand, so we'll go on. These things here uh, contain uh, potions usually, uh, there you go, and I find potions are not much use. I'll take basic scouting, that will improve uh, the uh, distance I can uh, travel. Actually I'll do basic combat as well I think. Oh, I've already got it I think. I think that's what that's saying. Oh well. Uh, right. Now, head in here and grab some resources in here, when it will let me. Now what you will notice is that uh, the scrolling while travelling uh, along the map screen is very jerky. And in fact, 
when it comes to uh, animation of any kind really the whole game is very jerky it's it's really not been very well done uh, the animation is is horrible uh, right how much is that three thousand how much do I need to oh, I've got to get the castle before I can build that but I definitely want the cloud castle to regenerate titans the other one the dragon factory generates dragon golems which are uh, a unique um, creature to Heroes 4. They never appeared before or since, largely because they're shite. So I don't bother it. Um, uh, yeah, here's castle I need, but uh, I can't afford that, so fuck it. Right. That's the magic uh, almost completely uh, finished. Right, so there are archers, pikemen and squires in this army. They may attack, but I don't think they're going to run. Right, let's see. Okay, they did run. aren't that useful but uh, at the moment the army in this uh, hero has is a bit on the shit side. Right, can't build anything so let's uh, get recruiting again. Now, as you can see, there's a genie there. So it does not need to actually be with a hero. They will send them uh, to uh, my second uh, hero because she has hardly anybody in her army. But because they move at the same speed, the same uh, animation, everything else that they do on the battlefield, some of them move in unbelievably slowly. So that's also not been very well done. So you're starting to uh, see a bit of a trend. Mm, yeah, months would be quite useful actually, All right? So here we go with another uh, bit of combat. Let's see if I can cast a spell that's any good. Ice bolt. Now you'll notice there that when a unit can retaliate, it will retaliate at the same time as you attack it. And he also doesn't always retaliate towards uh, the person who is actually firing at it. Right, now I finally have a creature that uh, can move. As you can see, there's no guide until you go past the point that shows you how far you can actually move in the game. And now we have the animation of him moving, and it is incredibly jerky. And it's even more jerky with the uh, gold golem. And this is how the animation stays throughout the game. So if you are a graphics whore, you have another reason to hate the game. Right, 
And there's no point going there because that just means I can stay there. If uh, any of my heroes had been killed, I would be able to resurrect them, but none of them have been killed, so they're all fine. See about taking out that neutral army. just remembered that uh, it's possible this scenario will mean that I can't show you what it's like trying to capture an enemy castle. Because I don't remember there being uh, an enemy castle in uh, this particular scenario in the tutorial. Now, I'm about to show you something else that's a pain in the ass with this game. When you are merging armies, whether they have a hero or not, the number of movement points left is taken into consideration. If uh, a creature like these don't have enough movement to uh, make the transfer, you can't put them into your army. So I'll have to do it the other way around up there and that now means that uh, all of my movement points have been used up even though I barely took a step. I think that is a diabolical system. So, so far all of the changes implemented in uh, Heroes 4 have been for the worst. Um, does it get better? Well, no, to be honest. Um, none of the changes really seem to be uh, any benefit. They, they all seem to be changed for the sake of change. And... Um, really just not very good at all. So, um, okay, there aren't very many Cyclops, but uh, uh, I could try and take him on, I suppose. Right, so now there's only one thing left I can build here. Actually, no, there is more than one. One, two, three, actually, because I have to do that twice. The Citadel and then the Castle. And then I finally have the choice of uh, either of those two. But, yeah, the number of uh, structures you can actually build within your town has been uh, greatly reduced. As you can see, it's, it's quite slow paced given, uh, given everything that's in it. Let's go for basic scouting so that then her uh, distance she can travel will be uh, extended a bit. don't have the uh, gold. Mm -hmm. 
Now the objects of the um, uh, tutorial here is to oops, is to defeat the uh, Hydra who are the uh, far side of the oh, for fuck's sake I've got to go all that way ok let's try taking this bastard off ok he ran anyway after all that now getting to the point where merging these two armies would be very handy I have that spell or not. Not that it's particularly useful, I never use the slug spell. I do already have it. Now these creatures here, the uh, Venom Spawn, they are quite tough. So I want to merge at least some of the uh, two armies. This is going to reduce the number of movement points that I have available. So what I'll do, I'll stop her there and bring him towards uh, Right, she can now go back there. Pick up some more... Uh, See if I can build anything. I can build the citadel. Alright, well I'll have that. Right, here we go, trying to beat these bastard things. Okay, so that I wasn't expecting. Well, they are quite tough. So I've become a level 5 battle mage, which gives me additional uh, benefits there. So I might as well give that a bash. Uh, fuck, that's taken nearly all my money, so uh, she can wait in the city a bit. And I am now trying to light up the fag. I did use uh, my thread a bit earlier and was meant to uh, point out something else about the towns that have changed. Um, so I said there's no uh, war machines. Something else that isn't here to be built is the marketplace. But if you click here because it's already there. Which is a bit ridiculous really. Now, what do I need to uh, build that? Oh, I still need the fucking uh, castle. I need gems, but that's the only thing. So what I'll do is sell all of my crystal. 
Once I have the cash, I can then build the uh, okay, the cash and the gems. I'm six short of the gems, and I'm about well, I'm about thirteen thousand just over short of uh, the gold. I want to put it another way, nowhere fucking near. Uh, yeah, that way I was going was a dead end, so I'm going to come back here. that because uh, so I don't have the gold to uh, build anything. So here I have the uh, trolls. Who I think might run. chunk of uh, gold. Now I have enough gems to uh, build the uh, building to recruit titans, but that's all. Get the rest of those. I get the magi from there. so I can get back there. Now that hideout is gone, so I will have to attack it. Um, what am I doing? I haven't got anywhere near enough yet. Oh, fuck it, I'll just recruit the Magi. Ten of them added. Right. Now, chances are I'm not going to be able to get anywhere near there in time because uh, this bloke's very close to uh, finishing. Uh, 
Scores of bandits. Here we go. As you can see, the Titans are quite powerful. Okay, let's see what the ice bump does to these guys. Not bad. So yeah, according to that, it's going to take me over four turns to reach them, which is ridiculous. And as you can also see, you can barely uh, get the chance to read the uh, like morale boost or decline for each uh, creature. So the combat is, is just really badly done. Now, I've almost uh, finished uh, because these Hydra here are the uh, target uh, enemy. So there's not really much point in me uh, trying to get the Magi to uh, this bloke because he's about to finish the game. There's only two Hydras and they are not that difficult. Hydras do do a fair bit of damage, and they do have quite a few hit points. But when I have uh, an army like this, getting rid of two Hydras is not difficult. And that is the uh, tutorial done. So, uh, yeah, my total is 192, which I'm pretty sure is, uh, yeah, exactly the same as when I uh, did it before, except I took less, uh, fewer days. Now, what I'll do is, uh, start another game. I know you don't understand it now, Reggie, but someday you will. Skip past yeah, all this, uh, bloody intro, because what I want to try and find is uh, an enemy uh, encampment and show you what the uh, battle looks like for uh, taking over um, an enemy uh, town because it is appalling. So there's a town here, but I can't get to it because that thing's in the way. Alright, so they need their ore cart returns to them. You know what, I, I, I just don't know if I can be asked to uh, keep on trying this. This unit that I'm using now is the might unit. This unit here, or rather the faction I'm playing against the might faction, this unit here, the berserkers, you have no control over them at all. I'm trying to use spells when uh, I have no spells. And sometimes heroes can uh, have either melee or uh, ranged attack. It would appear that this time I only have melee. Now 
it looks like my hero is nearly dead. trying to rush it and as a result I'm, I think I'm about to poke it. Yeah, that hero's dead and that's uh, that means I've already failed this uh, uh, campaign mission. So, yeah, there you go. So, I've been eliminated because my hero was killed straight away. As it is, I just, I, I can't face <laughs> kind of place anymore. Um, Heroes 4 is, without doubt, the worst of the Heroes of Might and Magic series. It is fucking awful. Every single change that they introduced was done purely for the sake of change and without exception is worse than it was in 3, 2 or 1. Um, the game was badly rushed and was released unfinished. Uh, the multiplayer um, part of the uh, game when Heroes 4 first came out wasn't included and it wasn't until patch 1.4 I think it was that multiplayer finally got added now obviously for me that's no big deal but uh, for a lot of players that that was uh, a big deal um, but even uh, you know, that doesn't uh, sum up all of the uh, you know unfinished content uh, combat was unfinished that's why it's such a mess uh, the animation on the, all of the figures was never finished, that's why it's so jerky and so badly done. Um, the, uh, the combat for taking over an enemy town, um, I don't think was even started. So, although you don't get to see it in this video, to be honest, be grateful for that because it is atrocious. Uh, because you have no um, baluster, uh, the only way you can actually break through the uh, into the enemy uh, town is to use your units to smash down the door. And a lot of the time, if the enemy units are close enough to the walls, you can attack them through the wall anyway. So the wall may as well not be there sometimes, and uh, it's, it's just ridiculous, it is absolutely abysmal. Uh, I mean, the game does have uh, some uh, good points, and although this current piece of music really isn't very good, uh, the music in the game generally is fucking superb. Uh, in places it's better than in Heroes 3. I thought was, would be impossible. Uh, as it is, uh, the music in the uh, Heroes of My Magic series just kept getting better and better and better. So if you thought three was great, just wait until you hear five and six. But really, the music is the only good thing about this game. Everything else about it is absolutely abysmal. So what do I rate it? I will rate it 3 out of 10 and that's purely because I think the music is fantastic. The game itself, I wouldn't bother with it really if I were you. Unless you are an absolute die-hard, hardcore fan of the Heroes of Might and Magic series, in which case you will almost certainly have this game ready. Um, yeah, unless you're one of those, I wouldn't bother with this one. Skip this, go from 3 to 5 and 6. Forget about 4. Just pretend it doesn't exist. Which is what a lot of uh, Heroes fans do. 
So there you go, that's Heroes of Might Magic 4, uh, 3 out of 10, really, really not good at all. So that uh, brings this video to an end, so uh, we will see you at the next one.